Hello geometry students and geometry lovers. This lesson is about inscribed angles and intercepted arcs. This was created on TI Inspire Software version 2.0. An inscribed angle is this part what you see right here, angle ABC. The intercepted arc is this portion uh, on the edge of the circle between A and C. Now, the first theorem is the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So we see here that the measure of our intercepted arc is 64, our inscribed angle is 32.1. Now sometimes the software does funny things with tenths of a degree, but as you can see, I'm going to move this around. As I move point A, the inscribed angle is roughly half of the intercepted arc. And it doesn't matter whether I'm moving point A or point C. And for that matter, point B. You'll notice that when I move point B, the angle measure doesn't change at all because the measure of the arc isn't changing. Now there's three corollaries to this. Two inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent. Well, that makes sense. We've got one arc but two intercepted angles are sharing it, the red one and the blue one. Now they're both at 39. Let's see what happens when we move and change the intercepted arc. They are both identical at all times. Now if I move point D, the measurement will not change at all because the arc isn't changing. Same thing with point C. Corollary number two, an angle intercepting a semicircle is a right angle. Now a semicircle, this entire arc around here is a semicircle. So the points B and A here, if we create a segment, that is the diameter. So let's see what happens. Angle C is always 90 degrees, no matter how we make it. 90 degrees at all time. And that goes for if we move C around too. Corollary number three, the opposite angles of a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle are supplementary. That means that they always add up to 180 degrees. Now as I move around point B, you can see angles A and C are changing as I move them around because their angles are changing. They still add up to 180. Here we can see angles B and D as I change them and they change. We see that they add up to 180 also.